Our correspondent Denis Loktier joins us from the capital of the Winter Olympic Games. Hello, Denis. We've all followed the preparations for these Olympics. Record amounts have been spent. But what's the result of these great efforts? Can you feel the festive atmosphere in Sochi? What can we see in these Olympics that we haven't seen before? There's a festive atmosphere everywhere in this big, sprawling city. Sochi is stretched along the coastline of the Black Sea. It's actually a few neighborhoods clustered together, and the sporting sites are rather compactly gathered in the Olympic Park and Mountain Cluster. This is one of the particular aspects of these Olympics, a compact area that's easier to control and to protect, and all the social events are here too. Another difference is the street patrols in the city, made up not only of police, but also of southern Russia's traditional Cossacks, who are helping to ensure security here at these games. Security is the topic that has been talked about constantly due to the recent terrorist attacks in the south of Russia. Can you feel any threat in Sochi? Does it look like a city at the center of a ring of steel? And does that make life difficult for local residents, visitors and journalists? Frankly, I thought security measures would be more intense or obvious. In recent days, we haven't seen anything special as far as security is concerned. Still, patrols have been carried out, especially along the Olympic torch relay route. Transport is also being checked, because public transport has frequently been targeted for terrorist attacks in Russia. But otherwise, special security measures aren't very visible. It is possible that what we see on the streets is just the tip of the iceberg. Russian authorities obviously understand that Olympic guests don't want to feel like they've ended up in a counter-terrorist zone, as that would spoil the pleasure of their visit. Well, finally, the weather. For the first time, the Winter Olympics are being held in the subtropics. There were fears there would not be enough snow. What is the reality? Obviously, Sochi doesn't have what many people think of as a typical Russian winter. It's actually a seaside resort, more famous for bathing and getting a suntan on the shores of the Black Sea. Nevertheless, so far the games are running smoothly without any particular glitches. In the mountains, where the ski slopes are, where the competitions needing snow are being held, it is quite cold, and the quality of the pistes, according to athletes, is wonderful. Here, down near the sea, daytime temperatures are 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. There's a lot of sun, and sometimes it's even hot, so we have covered arenas with a controlled climate for relevant competitions. So the sunny Sochi weather isn't ruining these games, but on the contrary, is helping to make them more comfortable.